Now, just to show you real quickly, if I draw, let's use the polygon tool. I'm going to draw a polygon here and we'll fill it with maybe a different color just so it looks different. And if I select this object and I go to Effect, 3D, and choose Extrude and Bevel, turn the preview on, this is going to show me this shape as an extruded object. So you can increase the depth if you want to make this longer. You can see how we uh, easily do that. We can rotate this object in 3D space to look at a different angle here. And you can also choose whether we want this object to have a cap or if you want it to be hollow in nature as well. So if I rotate this enough, you'll start to see that it has a hollow shape to it. You can also map art to it just as you had with the revolve option, but you can also change the bevel. So if you choose complex, you can see that it'll put a bevel along the edge of this object. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the height of that bevel just a little bit so we can see it a little bit better what it looks like. There we go. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And now you can see how using those two different options, you can create 3D shapes. Now, one last thing. If you ever want to go in and modify this shape again, you don't want to go back to Effect 3D and Revolve because that's going to want to apply another instance on top of it. So we'll just cancel. And to edit your existing 3D effect, you just go to your Appearance panel. And you can click on the link for 3D Revolve, and that'll take you back to where you were. <laughs>